Raft. You've heard of it, right? Of course you have, you're cool. I'm also pretty sure that you've heard of Let's Game It Out. Of course you have, you're also cool. <laughs> well, today we're gonna be reacting to his most recent Raft video because uh, I heard a lot of good things about it. So here we go. By the way, if you like the content, if it made you laugh, uh, please be sure to give it a like and a subscribe. I'm also gonna link Let's Game It Out's video in the description because that's the right thing to do. He did all the hard work here. I'm just, you know, reacting to it. All right, back to it. For some Raft. Oh, the fun we've had with this game, like building this trash collection raft or even a series of multiple rafts. <laughs> Okay, so just off the bat, I have to make a comment. Uh, I under I know a lot about the mechanics of this game. And so essentially, if you've never played this before, once you build out your raft and you break it apart like this, it will forever stay synchronized. And so I hope it I hope it does a lot of this in this game. This is our raft. This is the ocean. And out there is a bunch of trash for us to pick up. Like so. <sighs> Come here, box. Okay, so uh, real quick, I know you've heard of Let's Game It Out. He has millions of subscribers. And so because of that he has to explain everything he does first because he's not in a niche game like I am like I primarily play raft and some other games here and there but it's mainly raft so I don't need to explain myself to my audience but for him because he has so many people following him he has to explain everything he does which is I think the way he's doing it's super cool for you and you're probably wondering why wouldn't you just swim out to these things yes then you can pick you? up these crates and get fabulous cash prizes <laughs> well because down in the ocean there's something waiting for you. Ah, ouchie. Grabbing stuff that comes our way until we wander towards things like this. Random little islands. Oh, what secrets do you have for us? Well, let's take a gander. Let's see, red flowers. Crap, into the ocean with you. <laughs> Yellow. So that's, that's really true. So the flowers in game, unless you just really want to paint your raft, they mean absolutely nothing. And so what he's doing is actually super funny, just throwing it in the water. Every experienced raft person just super hardcore relates to or double crap, much better down there. <laughs> and then we have wild fruit that we can't have, not until we chop this down. And for that, we need an ax, which we can craft, and we have planks and rope, but we still need some stone. I bet we can find some down here on the ocean. So uh, another thing I want to bring up is I absolutely love how he edited. But if you haven't noticed yet, there's buttons in Raft where you can hide the user interface, like the menus and all that stuff. He's practically running around with the user interface turned off just to give you, the audience, a better watching experience, which is Floor. Super cool. Ah, there we go. Ow. Flesh wound or not. So you see how it rock. turns okay, on and off over and over again. So I'm gonna the user interface. So right now it's on. Planks and finally mango. And to destroy the trees. It's so on. No you can see the menu. It. Now it's time to stare and at now the it's off. and enjoy my victory mango. He toggles it over and over mm, again for the good anyway, shots. Back to the raft. Oh, hello, shark. What do you want? Hey, stop it. Get off that. Stop hitting the raft. Oh, good. Yeah, <laughs> I love that you throw something. The shark can eat your raft. That's okay. That's what the building hammer is for. To do stuff like build more foundation parts, which we can use to repair the shark's love bites. And more if we want. I mean, until... Repair the shark. <laughs> repair the shark's love bites. We don't have enough supplies, and we just have to live with our choices. But that's okay. We just take to the open water again, gather trash, and before you know it, you're going to be overflowing with supplies. Literally. You'll have so many things, they'll just be- That's true. In the beginning of the game, you have a very small inventory, and so before you know it, your inventory fills up. So what's happening is that his inventory is full, so as he collects things, he just throws them back on the ground. That's kind of how the mechanics work. Falling off you. And that's when that's exactly how the mechanics work. have some small storage. I love it. When you go to play something, you've got the little pointy finger like, yeah, right there. Okay. And this is great and all, but it doesn't really offer that much space. The shark- Okay, I, I think I know where he's going with this, but he, the shark's gonna eat it. And watch what happens when the shark eats that foundation. Well think ahead, right? And thankfully with the build hammer, not only can we build out, but we can build up as well, like so. And then instead of taking up useful space on the ground, we can just attach it like so. Yep, yeah. that's right. Well, what the hey, why stop there? The shark's about to eat it. Space, do we? It just oh, yeah, has to. Go. He's much, leading up much, to that. Much <laughs> ah, just calmly oh, away. gosh. We have so much space now. Ah! Please stop. It's going to disappear. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank okay, so that joke in and of itself, it, in the early game, every resource you have is just super valuable because it takes a while to get ahead in the game. And so that joke right there probably took him like an hour to set it up, at least an hour to set it up to get all that plastic manually. 
Thank you oh, so man. Much. I can only That's imagine. Okay. We didn't want to expand too quick anyway, did we? Duly noted. We'll keep the raft small. That's okay. I think I know an alternate way we can handle this. One of the items we can make is the fishing rod, which we can use to catch right. fish to make shark bait. Keep the shark busy. Here you go. Hey, shark, go get it. Mmm. There you go. Enjoy being distracted. Meanwhile, I was grabbing some of these barrels, and I got a deck. If you haven't already seen my other video, I don't advocate for the shark bait. Essentially what it is, you make the fishing rod, just like he said, you have to use all your time and resources to make the shark bait, but the shark bait really only distracts the shark for like a minute. So the time spent getting the shark bait isn't nearly as rewarding as just, you know, poking it with a stick, which is a lot cheaper of a resource. Operation package? The hell is this? Well, only one way to find out. You learned rug. Oh, I see. It teaches you how to make new stuff, like this stunning rug. Can I just put it along the edge like this? You sure can. And can I walk? Walk on no. it? You sure can't. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna place four of these things down then. So instead, we have it. this real- Right there. So right there in the bottom right, he's standing on a platform. You're gonna see this happen a lot where, you know, YouTubers like me will have to build a way and then break the platforms to get that really nice money shot. And so you can kind of see that right down Draft. there. Well, let's collect more of these if we can. Okay, we've collected a whole bunch of these things. Oh boy, I love surprises. That's let's true though. The, the secret packages in the beginning of the game, you just can't- can't stop getting them. They just kind of throw them at you. Motivational quote. Teasingly perfect. I'll be the judge of that. Nothing like doing your business <laughs> with a view. Anyway, let's get to the next part of all this. Now, we can't stay on the open water forever. There's secrets out there just waiting for us. But the first step in all that is we need to build a research table. That's Used right. to research new items to craft. And basically, we open the book and we just start dragging everything we have and doing a little bit of research. And once we've researched enough things, we can start to learn stuff. Yeah. Learn, 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 learn. Learn. And now it's time to become sudden. This is one of those jokes that literally takes hours for him to set up. So this is super funny. We really educated. Look at all this stuff we have now. Radio signals. Kind of feel like we're running out of space, but oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So the receiver, for those of you who don't know, that's what you need to essentially start the game because the story mode technically doesn't even start until you craft that item and then that starts the the actual story of the game because I didn't figure that out until gosh like 10 hours in I was just having a lot of fun floating around crafting and then I finally got around to building that and Perfect. Looks like these blocks didn't even know there was a story. Hell. Oh, but we're not done yet. This thing needs antennas to work, and they need to be at a nice high altitude. Well, so be it. Let's build a little something. And for this little renovation, we're going to use wooden pillars. And we'll just place one there and there. And then we'll just do some nice cross beams. That looks about right. I was about to pause and, and be like, no, you don't need cross beams that close. But the very next second, he's doing something crazy. <laughs> right? And also, you can place stairs up here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Reason. You can do that. Well, I'm not you can do that trash. No yeah. Okay, yeah, this seems pretty good. Yeah. Just the right amount yep. of height. I mean, probably. <laughs> now that it looks like a screensaver from 20 years ago, it couldn't be more simple. You just climb up this ladder, jump. He doesn't have collector's nets, so it must have taken him a long time to manually craft all that stuff. Either that, or he built a little bridge away from his original raft and have all the collector's nets off screen so he can hide them for the video and then collect them all over there. But either way, getting a lot of wood like that takes a lot of time, and especially the planks because you need nails. And so this is one of those jokes, again, that takes a few hours to do beam climb up another stairway and then you kind of just go where you want i guess i don't know but again this makes a lot of sense because it took him it took him a while the final release came out and then i think it took him like two or three weeks to release this video so that makes a lot of sense oh i feel like it's still missing something like it's almost there but not quite <laughs> but i think i know what's gonna fix that oh, string gosh. lights lots and lots and lots of string lights oh yeah that's the good stuff there we go what a sight this is huh something tells me we're gonna be able to see oh, this from gosh. anywhere now i don't even know how we're powering this. i love All that I he's doing this i'm glad we are and now let's get out our choosy finger and then figure out just where to place these antennas so we'll put one right <laughs> here and one right there and a third one right come on let me place it there we go and we actually had to move our setup a little bit higher in the air but hey as long as it works success and we're yep. trying to go to that location right there if my calculations are correct it should be right in that direction and it's only 1598 meters away well time to get paddling what do you mean i can't paddle from all the way up here ah uh, fine okay we're free oh we my no gosh time. oh boy we're oh so close 
Amazon. I'm sure that he set up a sale. So he literally spent hours pre-collecting the materials for the research table to show you that joke. And he also spent all that time collecting wood to build up his raft in that crazy little puzzle piece thing. So it makes a lot of sense that he's able to craft a whole lot of paddles, but if he, I, he probably, he had to have put up a sale. He had to have because manually, manually doing that is just, it would take him, it would take him literally hundreds of paddles. So he had to have set up a sale. Oh, look, there it is now. It's a radio tower. Now here's the thing. Start at the bottom there and scale the whole platform. To yep, all that's the right. Way up there. You know, I've got a better idea. Let's sail the raft as close as we can. Oh just yeah. Jump off at the top. Wait, what's happening? Oh, it's gonna clip. Oh. Oh, well, that works even better. Yeah. Okay, change of plan. I didn't know that our chariot would just clip through everything. So this is the common YouTuber thing. So I'm, I'm not a developer, so I can't super explain this, but essentially your raft doesn't collide properly with the rest of the world. So it just goes straight through it like this. And so you can go through a whole lot of YouTubers and they'll just build up straight to where they need to go. They'll just build up and over and then just cheat the whole island thing well it looks like we're most of the way there anyway and here yeah. we are at the top oh uh oh i didn't realize there were people in this game well hold still <laughs> wakey wakey <laughs> eggs and bakey hey a friendly face let's not go that far awesome let's head out yeah you just hang out here and i'll totally let you know when we're leaving no we're not we're really just here for a couple of things. One, this blueprint of a recycler. Give me that. And two, we're here for a post-it note, which in theory is going to take us to this because we need to go to these coordinates. So let's go. Hey, yeah, go ahead and stay right there. We're talking. As I was going through it, typically what happens is once that character's done talking, it just kind of turns into this yellow ball of light where you can reactivate it so that's kind of cool that he did that it's doing that for him totally not leaving who knows maybe my game's a glitch put. quick run uh-oh there's the <laughs> raft i think it was out this direction and don't worry we'll know if we reach it see there it is so much easier to find it in the dark yeah he didn't lights. Okay. he didn't anchor always anchor your raft always always anchor your raft so the next place we need to go per our booklet is 7849 okay easy peasy but you know since we're so close to this island right here let's go take a gander okay so we got this big island here right and if you stare through the haze up at the very top there's a building up there yeah. so let's go check it out ah there it is so this is the trading post it's here that we can buy all kinds of stuff you can't normally find Hang on. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. I just want to see how what he's going to do. Find like an air horn as well as different tiers of items to get other goodies like blueprints or over here in tier three. The thing I'm looking forward to the detail plank. But to get these things, we need to get trash cubes and trade coins and we need to up our reputation to unlock these tiers to get reputation. We can sell these unique fish, which will get us trade coins and reputation. So that just so that's right. The unique fish, you buy special baits for your fishing rod and then you just go through the baits over and over over again and that gives you the ability to unlock the rest of the tiers thieves where do we get trash cubes you remember that blueprint we got for the recycler well we need to research and build that and then we yep. just need to feed it a bunch of tasty supplies enough that it craps out those cubes and then before you know it your cup runneth over with oh my this right here this joke took him literally hours and hours because get to even get one of those trash cubes takes about four to five full stacks of just waste materials like uh the max it can go is 20 so just like that so he will need five stacks of 20 to get one block and so if you do the quick math here he has to have collector's nets because to do that much work takes Trash forever to do now we're almost to our destination behold it's a giant oh, ship gosh. here's the thing about the cruise ship normally we'd need to sneak in and then go down all these creepy hallways That's right. collect all kinds of quest items we can't use anywhere else that's and just right. like i showed in my previous video we have to blow open a door to the bridge and that's at the very top of the ship and while we can do some fancy parkour to get higher and higher this is Okay, I'm going to call it right now. So a lot of YouTubers do this. He's going to probably build his way from his raft because he has he has the height. Uh, he's probably just going to build straight to the top where he needs to go to, and just skip everything and get the one thing we need that post it. Oh, yeah. He already parkoured his way up, right but we can't just use I was, I was too fast from the inside. Oh, yep. but I have an idea. I'm sure you can see where this is going to go, right? First, let's just build some nice beams all the way over. To yeah, this this is super common. You know, if you do this a lot. You don't really want to play through the story mission over and over again. So you, you use the height of your raft and you just build up and over to exactly where the objective is.
to the ship and then slowly climb our way up. Yeah, that seems beautifully stable. <laughs> then we gotta go around because the entrance is on the other side. Okay, almost there. Okay, that's getting a little closer. Yeah. So we can't place a platform here. So remember how oh, it's happening. So remember how the raft doesn't collide with the world properly. It, he will, hang on, I'll, let's, I just wanna show you. Because it's in the glass, but we can place it there. That's right, Great. yep. And then if we take a bed and just see if we can, oh, look at that, got a bed on the inside. Yep. Yep. So he's, this is like, this is just super funny. He's, what he's doing, he's taking advantage of really common glitches. So if the bed's in range, you can clip through walls. Another, another common one that I see is if, uh, if your bed is too close to the ceiling above it, you can actually go to sleep and then your body will clip to the next floor above it. And that's another way you can do it. But he, you just wait. He's just gonna kind of just keep clicking until he can sleep in the bed. So we can't use the bed through the glass. So what I, so what he's, what I'm worried about now is that that bed is super close to the ceiling, and so what may end up happening is that he may go to sleep, and then because he's too close to the ceiling, he actually may clip up back out of the room to the next floor. But seeing as how this whole this setup watch. shimmies around, all we need to do is wait for the bed to clip through the glass, and then we should be able to... Oh, I got yep. it. I laid down. Yep. Ah, and we slept through the night. Time to get up, I guess. Yeah. Oh, did you see it? It, it just barely happened. So here again. So when he stands up, watch what happens. This is a super common glitch. Right, Time to right when he stands up, he goes to the next floor. That's super common. And typically... If you do this on your raft, you'll just stay on the next floor, but I'm willing to bet that, you know, there is no next floor on this on this boat. So he just dropped back down. Get up, I guess. Ah, here we are inside the ship. Well, that was easy. <laughs> no need to do all this bomb yep. business. We'll just yep. go in and out the front door from now on. Okay, so anyway, we need this thing that's on the steering wheel that says Balboa. And to nobody's surprise, that's gonna take us from vegetarian over to Balboa Island. Take that quest we were supposed to do. Feels good to do that clearly as it was intended. <laughs> okay, we'll be seeing you, ship. Yep. Okay, next round. Okay, so I don't know if you saw that. I'm gonna I'm gonna rewind that. So Oh, hang on a bit more. Yeah, so, right, it's coming up. Okay, right there, that moment. So, what happens a lot, he's actually lucky. We'll be so, you see how it breaks? He's actually really lucky that that actually broke all the way through. Because it's it's very common that it would only break, like, maybe 10, 10 blocks out, and then just stop. And then the rest of the structure is just kind of suspended there in the sky. So, the fact that this broke all the way through... Is, uh, it's pretty cool. It worked out great for him. Seeing you ship. Okay. Yeah, it broke. It's all gone it's now. All for us. Typically, go, it would just float there in the sky. Point. It's not too far away. We'll get there before you know it. But first, we're going to make another pit stop. One of these islands with the shop. Now that we have those million trash cubes. Which takes million trash cubes is like hours and hours of time. Remember the five stacks of 20. That takes forever it's to get. It's time to do some spending. But first, we need to get some trade coins, which is a reminder we yep. can get by buying special bait, then yep. catching and selling different fish. Which gives yep. us trade coins and reputation. Easy. Buy the Again, he has a large audience, so he has to explain this. Fancy fishing bait. Use it to catch some wild fish, like so, until it's sell o'clock and I'm ready to trade. Ta-da! All the way to tier three. Now that we have access to everything, I mean, obviously we're gonna have to buy the air horn. Okay, let's so, okay, I just want to explain something. For those of you who haven't gotten to Tier 3 yet, each store on Big Islands only has a limited amount of bait. So essentially what that means is you can't get bait on your first stop. You have to go to multiple Big Islands, buy more bait to be able to get to Tier 3. So if you buy all of it, it takes about three to five islands to get enough bait to be able to buy your way into Tier 3. So literally, in that one second... He clipped through, again, hours of content. Let's see, how are you? Yep, about what I expected. But mostly we're here for one thing, the detail plank. Adds details to your raft design. Okay, let's see how this thing works. Okay, so I'm not super familiar with the detail plank. I just haven't had time to really finagle around it, so I don't know how this is gonna go. So this is all fresh stuff for me. So we attach one end. Always a strong start. <laughs> oh, I see. It's like a variable length thing. And then you can attach it somewhere else. Okay. And then we can just add more and more. Wait, do I have to connect this to anything or can I just aim it into the sky? You can aim it into the sky. Oh my gosh. You can aim it into the sky. sky. Oh my God. And you can just keep going and going and going. Well, this kind of gives me an idea. Oh Give me a few minutes. Oh my gosh. How come I've never figured this out? Like I have a lot of time in raft, just like 
privately playing and I've never I've never figured that out before. Oh boy, that took me a while. No, not all these lights. They're as they were before. I'm talking about the thing they're currently <laughs> encompassed in. That's right. We made a tornado <laughs> raft. Look at its grand. Okay, so again, I have to say it. Literally, he said it nine hours. That's legit. Like, it takes forever just to get wood. He it was just sitting there floating free willy in the water until he collected all that and size compared to that island and how beautiful oh, it is gosh. to just watch it wandering through nature and look at all the lights still visible <laughs> from the outside and that's because it takes so long to get there. that you know, much wood like so long giant funnel and don't you worry the shark is still with us but at least for the moment our raft is safe okay so for those of you who are curious he did put foundation down you can see it there so he doesn't have to worry about the shark destroying his base anymore I went ahead and installed foundation oh. armor, which once added... I stopped too soon. We'll keep the shark from biting yep. it. Oh my god, look at us approaching this little tiny raft. I don't feel like its odds of surviving Hurricane Us are very good. Oh no, there it goes. So to make those rafts sink like that, you have to collect the uh, you have to collect the treasure chest on board. So it's a it's a funny joke. He just collected it, ran away, and recorded it. Because once you, the moment you collect it, the animation starts where the raft sinks. Anyway, now that our raft is nice and complete, time to head on over to whatever the next thing is. Why look? There it is now. Watch out, Island. We're coming in for a land. Okay, hang on. So. I noticed something. Where is it at? What he's doing here. So typically, if you leave your research table up and you just keep putting codes in it throughout the story, all the blue dots are saved. And so essentially what he's doing for the viewer is that he's pulling it down and then reinstalling it. And what happens is it resets everything. It, it actually resets the code so it doesn't remember them. You have to manually put them back in again. And so literally what you're seeing is he took it down, he put it back up, and put in the exact code where he needed to go so it doesn't clutter everything and confuse you. Head on over to whatever the next thing is. Which is Why, smart. Look, there it is now. Watch out, island. We're coming in for a landing. Now, one way we could tackle this island is go in the normal way, where we have to worry yeah. about stuff like bears and do terrible things like use our legs to walk. Ugh. And then we have to use our brains to keep from getting lost over my dead pile of- Balbo is not that difficult. You just- follow the path boards just saying we're gonna do it that way all right here we go the only hard thing about balboa is finding the big bear mama bear for the first time but even even that it's it's not super hard oh just building all the way to the island it couldn't be more is he just gonna bridge See, that was easy Ta -da. oh problems. my gosh to get to this relay station they want us to figure <laughs> out how to lower this bridge oh whatever will oh we do. i love really, that we could just jump off here but then we'd have to do all that walking over there and then climb up all those stairs i can't just i can't stress to you just how much wood this guy must have in his inventory to get up here like wooden oh, nails express thank you very oh much. my gosh and here we are okay now you just hang out <laughs> right here i'll be right back it's gonna be a short trip anyway all we're oh doing is turning gosh. on the power and then we're heading over here so that we know the relay station is on yep. then it's time to hop back aboard our noble steed and i think the next place we're gonna want to go is right over there and here we are we know the <laughs> drill come in here and uh hello nice tan lines here if you decide I unironically love this character. I just love how he's designed. Hi, do you want to try your hand at this? Knock yourself out with a detail plank. Now me, I'm just going to go do my thing. Two relay stations active. Thanks for all your hard work. Me, I'll just be leaving now. And just a quick romp to the last one. A quick oh romp gosh. indeed. See, there's the other place. That is we were. And here's so my much walkway. wood. Adjust altitude. Okay, and let's gas it up. Thanks for the code. Okay, time to shove off. Let's untether ourselves, shall we? So no way it's going to happen. So I bet you that when he breaks this, it's only going to break like maybe I keep saying blocks because I, you know, I keep thinking of like Minecraft measurements, but it's, it's only going to break a short ways up and then the animation is going to stop. Wait. Huh. Yep, yep, there it is. No, but notice there's still a lot of that over there. That's Insurance really line. common. Two, That's super zero, common. One, one. Okay, we'll be there momentarily. <laughs> Although it looks like our highway in the sky is following yep. us. Well, that's good. At least we don't have to... It's following him because anything you build from the boat, 
Even if you it loses connection, it's still tethered no matter what. Do anything about it. Oh boy, and we're oh so close now. What a lovely sight. Yes, let's just go right inside. Hello, caravan town. Yeah. The tornado is here to hang out for a bit. So normally <laughs> there's a whole lot of verticality we have to yeah, do. That's or right. do we? At this point, I think we're above all that, literally. <laughs> so instead, we can get everything done rather quickly, which is going here to the mayor's house. And because it seems like the classiest way, we'll just hop in through the window. And specifically what we're looking for is what's in this chest, which unfortunately requires a key. But for that, yep. we need to head back the way infirmary we and forge a new path over here to the infirmary. Oh, he's doing but it. In order to get the key we're looking for, we have to get in here, which requires grab it through the window. A key. Or wait, do I? Every experienced rafter knows that. Just grab it through the window. Never mind. I just grabbed it through the window. Well, <laughs> works for me. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. You're fine. Hello, mayor's chest. Have a key. Yep. Ah, engine controls. Not sure yep. what I need that for, but more importantly, a new note. And done and done. Okay. So he missed it, but nearby where that chest was is a chest of titanium. Uh, he could have just, he could have grabbed that on his way out, which I'm sure he did. Okay, next place. Hey, did I mention that I installed this sweet wheel? And if I take this thing and just rotate it all the way to one side, oh boy, now we're a real tornado. Spinning in the wind, <laughs> complete with, I guess this would be really creepy lightning. Anyway, Whatever, the important part is that we're here now. Oh, giant golf ball, I've missed you. And it looks like we're coming in for a landing. I love this map. I think everything about it is super creative. The fact that I get to explore a city is just so, so fun to me. Is it just gonna go right through it? It sure is. Ah, uh, and we are as- Yep, again, the raft doesn't collide properly with the rest of the world. So this kind of stuff is really common. If he wanted to clip through the wall, he could put a bed down right there at his feet or make a flat platform, whatever, how you ever want to do it, and then sleep on it and it'll clip him through as well. One, unfortunately try- It takes a few tries. It takes a few tries, but he did it on the as I might, I can't get the raft to just force me onto the other side. But that's okay. We don't need to force our way in. We can just go in through the front door. First things first, let's just go straight up to the top to get to our objective without even going Yeah, he's inside. just going to skip it. That's super okay. common. Ooh, just building just up and over. Ladder. It's super uh, common. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, can I get into this hatch? Here, you can't okay, because so you have to... Like the hatch is you can't... This one's kind of difficult because you have to put in the launch codes to get to launch that thing up and then you can continue the story. So he he'll, he'll have to go in a different way. Lock. And we need it open because the next set of coordinates are in there. I guess we have to do it the normal way. Yeah. There's also a door up here that should lead us right to a keypad that should get this whole thing in motion. And it looks like we can't go in through these doors either. So I guess that means we have to go in the old fashioned way. So basically to get inside, we need to follow go to the bottom arrows, which will take us yep. around the side of the building where we can get inside. Wait a minute. Can this go into the water this can go into the water oh my goodness and so can we oh my god this is so confusing it doesn't know we're underwater I'm just standing here obviously under i wish i knew more about this plank man because like this is just so game breaking water but the game doesn't seem to think so here's how i know if i were underwater like this this meter shows up and i start losing oxygen but if i surface let that meter fill back up and then back down into here the meter doesn't show up can i just stay down here here? Oh my god, and the shark doesn't even care about me. Doesn't like, even care. The raft, the shark definitely sees me. But if I stay on this platform, shark doesn't care. Okay, it's official. This this detail plank is just gonna, he's just gonna abuse the joke out of it. I already know it. I just, I just know it. Heard all. This is amazing. Well, hell, why not just stay underwater all the time? I wonder oh, how he found that. Time to surface, I guess. I like how I could just get on land at this point, but why bother? Oh, well. Let's just take this all Maybe I'm the ignorant facility. one. And I don't know. Here we are. Well, Welcome to whatever the name of this place was. Now, something we want to stay away from are those, because if we get too close to them, they want to help us. I'm okay, thank you. I love the idea that there's this whole big expansive place to explore, and we're just like... Yeah, so essentially what he did... did wait, did I miss it? Hang on, let me go back. Just, just getting from the basement all the way up, that is just so much wood. It is just so much wood. <laughs> Essentially, what you could have done is that on the walls on of this golf ball, super common is that people will go through the basement, open up one of the walls, and build through that hole to the objective. Welcome to whatever the name of this place was. But he just did it the hardest way possible. <laughs> because if we get too close to them, they want to help us. I'm yeah. okay, thank you. I love the idea that there's this whole big expansive place to explore. And we're just like, nah, I'm just going to ignore the laws of physics and just climb all the way to the top. <laughs> and here we are. Hello, elevator. Take me to the... Hey, wait a minute. I wonder if I can get the boards in here too. Only one way to find out. Okay, so these boards can go straight yep. up. So if I attach yep. one side... I've already said 
said that a few times. The raft parts do not collide correctly with the rest of the world. Right here. And then I climb up on this. So then I'm basically clipping through the floor. Okay, here we go. Well, no need to take the elevator, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure this is what they have. I guess this makes a lot of sense, man. You can breathe underwater with these things. Why can't you just clip willy-nilly through walls. I didn't mind when they added this item to the game. Let's add a variable length board. I wonder if they patched this already. I wonder if, if you take this item and you try to do what he did, that it'll still work like this. Give people ultimate customization and so much more. Well, oh we've done gosh. some good work here. And we're almost out. Here's the elevator door. Can we just walk through this? No, no, we can't. But I wonder if we can just use the boards to shove us through. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, hey, it worked. Yeah. Okay. Could have just used the button, but that was so much more fun. Okay, and now it's time for the emergency bridge launch. Actually, wait, before we push this button, I need to know something. Here we are back again at all this stuff. If I was able to clip through all that, I wonder if I can clip through this. I mean, we have to know now, right? <laughs> okay, this setup's gonna be a little more elaborate. Now, normally what happens is we put in the code and the thing gets launched. And then it lands in the ocean. We can go inside and get our next code. So honestly, I don't even know if it loads anything into this before it gets launched, yeah. which is why we need to find out. This, this one might be process breaking because once it's launched, then then it actually allows you into the that area. I've never actually gone into it early before like what he's doing. So it could be empty. Who knows? Out. Oh, he's right. Like there's something in there. All right. We oh, just got to cool. get the game to let us in now. Ah, there we go. We made it in. Oh, good. I'm glad we can see this from the other side. <laughs> well, let's take a look and... What? I'm sorry. There's a person in here? Were you just watching this happen? How long have you been sitting here like this? Oh. No joke. This person is just so still that, like, it's the last thing you notice in the room. Ah. You there! Me out of this thing. Yeah, that's not happening. I'm here for one thing and one thing only, and that's this post-it. Give me that. Okay, it looks like we're heading to 9463. Don't yep. worry, though. That woman seemed like a bad person, so we're gonna leave her in that chair, but we're gonna launch her anyway. And we already know the code because I brute-forced it in my last raft video. So here we go. There it goes. I hope you have enough. No joke, if you're not paying attention fast enough, trying to find that for the first time just takes you a hot minute. At first you think it explodes, like actually explodes, and it's gone forever. Nice time down there and don't sink to the bottom of the ocean. Actually, who am I kidding? I don't care. Well, back. This game, you're not ready. Back to the raft, which is looking more and more like a hostile alien the further yeah. we play. Now it's on to Varuna Point, also known as the new content in the final chapter. Thank goodness everything's kind of close together. Okay, bye golf ball thingy, which looks remarkably cracked. Thanks <laughs> all my ramps. Just look at all the memories we've Oh we gosh, formed. This I love here it. floating in space, that's when I went to the bear island and skipped everything. And this one right here, this is when I went to the island of RVs and also skipped <laughs> everything. And can't forget that we learned how to breathe underwater oh, forever. Gosh. Oh boy, we can see whatever it is on the horizon can't wait to see what mysteries it holds okay it looks like we've got two buildings and a giant crane in the <laughs> middle thank goodness that height poses no problem for us now something i haven't talked about using very much is an anchor which is just a lovely pile of rocks and we're gonna attach it to this this anchor is just so funny to me because you can literally throw it anywhere other than if it lands on your app, it doesn't count. You, if you can just throw this thing anywhere and it just sticks like it's Velcro. Building to make sure we hold in place. Huh? Ah, yeah, yep. there we go. That's right. <laughs> and that'll Let's hold it. That piece of rope It'll work. Hold this whole thing in place. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Well, let's take a gander. We're going to start by doing this on foot. I know. I'm scared too. All this verticality we can't control. Ooh. So this one's kind of fun to me because you don't really figure out that you have to swim down until you're thoroughly explored everything. Unless you're just curious and you jump straight into the water, it, ta it takes you a while to figure out you have to go down. Now I'm into this. What do you mean I can't use this? If I can't use it or knock it over, what's the point? Other sights to see include dumpster, scaffolding, and also whatever yeah. this is. Oh, it looks it's like this a lot is to for look a zip at. line. But it is kind of going the wrong way, so we're not going to get very far. Besides, why would we do that? Why would we want to use our hands not when we can build a ramp straight <laughs> to heaven okay we can almost reach it having built yet another amazing tendril from the raft and departure is now let's see what we got okay standard places to sleep bunch yep. of places to climb yep. not much going on here and for some reason the police scanner won't work and here i was so in his last video it ended at at the golf ball city Tangaroa, right? Tangaroa. And so this is his, I think this is actually his first real time playing through this. So this will be interesting to watch. Is ready to locate some crimes. Well, I guess we could go check this out. So let's go the old fashioned way. We. 
Wonderful. <laughs> but hey, at least my legs still work. Ugh, nothing but more stupid construction. The least they could have done yeah. is get this finished before we got. It takes here. a while. It takes a while to least. figure it out. Can't open the door. To what figure you out, you have to go down. That's in there. Okay. You've left me no choice. Time to go back to the raft. Oh. Oh, there's more stuff yeah. underwater. A lot more stuff. Okay, yeah. I think we. That's the exact moment because typically you're so used to like skimming the surface that you, it, you just takes you a while to figure it out. You know what I happens don't blame next? Him. First, let's redirect our boards all the way back down. Okay, the almost fact, there. The fact that he started at the most recent one when he already had one in the water is just there. so funny and to me. coming in for a landing. Oh, and in case you were wondering, there's nothing in this building. Well, at least that mystery is solved. Time to do some <laughs> deep sea diving. Now, as I build this, I realize that these air bubbles here are supposed to help us replenish our air. But yep. why do that when this lets yep. us breathe forever? So it looks like we have a series of jellyfish here blocking an entry way. And based on how this light up here seems to keep the jellyfish away until it turns off, and then they separate again when it turns back on, something yep. tells me that's what we're supposed to do with this one, if it weren't broken, to separate these ones here. But I'm sure your mind is going where mine is, right? Which... He has to explain it. He has so many followers, he has to explain himself. Just do we have to, or can I just kind of build into them? Okay, easy. I don't easy. think you can. Ah, okay, no, I guess it won't work that way. And it knocks me off of my boards, which makes me a mere mortal. And we can't have that. <laughs> so I set up a board over it here. Makes me it a mere me mortal. My lovely, just wandering underwater status. So be it. We'll do it the old fashioned way. So just a reminder, he's doing a lot of this with his heads up display off. There's a button you can do to turn it off. And this is just super cool to me that he's he's actually doing a lot of little things for the audience that you don't even notice unless you play the game a lot. Which means exploring underwater apartments. Yep. Pardon me, doors coming through. Well, there's what we need. Can this thing see us? Apparently not. Excellent. Give me that spotlight part. Sure makes it easier that these things can't see us. It definitely makes it easier to sneak into people's bedrooms and steal their <laughs> light bulb parts. Yep. And there you go. Ah, perfect. Then let us proceed. There it goes. Well, this certainly looks promising. Oh, and what might this be? Oh, oh, I see. I'm not perturbed, and apparently neither. So are it just, just he like just clips through shirt. it. I guess they can't see I love me it. as long as I'm on the board. Oh, this setup is the gift that just keeps on giving. <laughs> anyway, what the hell are these? I can just pick these up. Oh, uh, okay. Can I just throw these at the shark? Apparently not. Okay, let's just hop off this and actually swim and see. Oh, now it sees me. Oh, okay. I think I see how this works. Basically, yeah. we need to take one put of those, these put those in the column, over to one of these columns, and then just shove it in. And then we have to convince old faithful here to crash into it. Nice work, dummy. And then that gives us access to a new area. Don't yep. worry, shark friend. We're coming. And rinse and repeat. Yep. Nice job, shark friend. Yep. You truly. Once you figure that out, this guy's not super scary. We are the sharpest tool in the shed. And after doing this pillar business one final time. It's been nice to know ya. I guess now that the shark is out of the way, let's proceed and see what the treasure awaits us. Oh boy, I wonder what the treasure is. Jewels? Other riches? Oh, a key. Wait, a crane key? I know where that goes. <laughs> I, mean, I, just I love that he builds up there all over again. His path is right there. <laughs> into this this whole time? How did I neglect to look at this? Oh, okay, I actually had to use it from the inside. So it was essential. Just like killing that shark was. Oh, how convenient. It's right yep. near my raft. Look at all that trash and stuff. I bet it's nice and soft. Let's give it a look. <laughs> Ah, you're fine. Ooh, and what's this? Could it be our next location? I bet it is. Temperance. Time to head to Tempura Island. Goodbye, glorious island. And now to do the dance of celebration while we wait. What a sight. What a creepy, creepy sight. Well, this is different. <laughs> Not used to snowflake. I love that he keeps all of his paths up still. Maybe this island coming up is gonna fill us in on those details. Oh, huh. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting an ice region. And look how insurmountable this would be. You know, for someone else. Yep. Not us, yep. though. We can reach everything. This is super common. You just use the height of your raft and build up and over. Super common. With the greatest of ease. And let's go see what this thing is. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Door's locked from the other side. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, door. Because you're about to be <laughs> open from this side. Ah, in we go. <laughs> Door is now open. Okay, so what is in here that we need? Well, I don't know what was going on in here. I love that he's just aggressively clipping through all this stuff. I didn't know that about this. I didn't know that about this game, so I'm learning a lot too. 
But thank God they have Wi-Fi. Let's see what's up here. Ah, the telescope part. But I'm scoping out something else right now. A safe. How many numbers are we looking at? Four total. Well, you know the drill. There is undoubtedly a puzzle to solve here. But I prefer my method. Brute force. Zero, 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 zero. Zero, 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 Oh my gosh. One. Zero, 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 two. <laughs> Bye. Conquering demons is what I do. As the fight begins, Shao uses his elemental skill to move rapidly around the battlefield, changing strategic positions, dealing damage as. I've nine, six, four. Ah, there oh, we go. Oh gosh! Behold our prize, the Celine Dion key. We'll just go out the front of this telescope. What a beautiful view! Oh, and what's that over there? Our next destination. That's what. Fingers crossed. The fact that he awesome. just keeps Ooh, planking on Hello, the way radio. over. Yeah, it's gonna hurt you, dude. Really good on my skin. Okay, I think we can safely conclude this is radiation. And I'm glad to know that my guy has a built-in Geiger counter. <laughs> oh, thank God, there's an entrance over here. The Celine Dion research facility. Can we just go right in? Apparently not. Ah, this must be the switch. Requires one blowtorch. Hell, it does require a blowtorch. Oh my god. He's saying it so fast I can't say it, but you need the blowtorch. Calm down. Jesus. I mean, I guess it is one board attached to a bunch of other boards that extends all the way back to my raft. I guess those waves are getting pretty <laughs> choppy a thousand boards back. Anyway, you know the drill. Okay, so we'll just do the old standard force me through the wall tactic. I and there we go. Okay, what do we this. have here? Reactor malfunction. Oh god, do I need to care? Insert control rod. Uh, doors locked from the other side. Uh, can I just jump into this, please? Just give me one of these and I'll do it. There we go. Looking great. And just see if we can't just get into this reactor room without the reactor yep. key. Easy. Easy. Okay, there we go. Onward and downward. <laughs> Hello. Let's see. What is this? Hold to rotate smoothly. You oh got it. Gosh. Oh, it looks like I didn't have to go get the rods after all. They're just right here. And one. And second rod is in. And three. Thanks, game. I feel really good about Thanks, those fuel game. rods I totally didn't get. <laughs> On. What do we have here? My blessed post-it note. Time to go to Utopia, it looks like. Again, he's he's just skipping hours and hours of work just for this. Well, that was easy. Ah, uh, the raft looks so pretty. It's easy, but it wasn't easy. He did it the hardest way possible, building a path. Second star on the right and straight on till morning. And we're almost there. Okay, I don't know if you missed it or not. Uh, again, as you put in your codes, it remembers your codes and saves all your blue dots. So he took down the he took down the receiver, put it back up, just so it makes it easier for you as the audience. We're almost there. Ooh, a whole city. Quickly, let's put out our bucket. Let's see. I guess we'll go ahead and just put it, what, in the center of town? Yeah, why not? Just drop it wherever. Go. It doesn't matter. So Utopia the rope's like infinitely long. The game. I don't really know what that means in terms of what we'll find, but it probably bears a little observing just to see what we got. So let's exercise our legs a little bit. That's what I'm talking about. So we've got dirt and more dirt and even more dirt. Utopia, you are riveting. So I climbed around this town for a little bit, and here's what I can tell you. Lots of buildings, nobody home. To what yep. end? Don't know, don't really care. And by that, I mean, if everything kind of sucked down there, maybe we just need to go higher. First, let's check out this thing. What do we got? Requires one harpoon, one carbon dioxide canister. Why? What does this do? Oh, does it shoot all the way over to that? I have a better idea. Instead of that fetch quest, <laughs> how about I fetch some more boards? Yes, cap. <laughs> idea. Well, He's just skipping. Easy. Wait a minute. I can just imagine the developers. I can just imagine the developers just so sad that their game is just getting just taken apart. Well, all right, but this better be worth it. Ooh, looks like an entrance. Oh no. Two padlocks requires two entrance keys. Well, you got it. I'll go get my tools. This is pretty much standard operating procedure now. And then before you know it, other side. He just Wouldn't clips through the wall. Yeah, of course we'll take our planks with us to the elevator. Okay. This one, you just have to explore so hard just to find these stupid keys. Okay, and almost there. Okay, I actually went past the elevator and just popped in through the floor. And the journey <laughs> continues. What mysteries will we find? He's just Wait, skipping everyone, so quiet. much. There's some guy up there. What can I do you for, sport? What are you doing in this building? Hey, I'm talking to you. Nice outfit. Unfortunately, I think I broke him until we go down and do whatever all this yep. stuff is. But hey, maybe it'll be easier from the other side since I can drop this ladder down ahead of time, which I'm probably not not supposed to be able to do. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, that woke him up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. God, he sure has a lot to say, doesn't he? Oh. <laughs> okay, I see. Where are we he just now? runs. <laughs> I didn't realize.
as we were dealing with a wizard. Well, something tells me we're gonna see him again. Now that we've sequenced broken everything, we just yep. need to figure out where he probably went. Well, I did find this door, which is locked, and obviously I don't have the key. I mean, unless you count my skeleton key. So we're supposed to jump down here and then fight all of this. Yep. Oh, and there he is up there. Well, instead of dropping down here, I say we go in through the side and scare the crap out of him. <laughs> and just put this here. Okay. There we go. He's Other just, side. Let's go say hi. Hey, buddy. He's just so again. efficient no, at it now. He's just All clipping right, well, through everything. And find your little plate. Okay, there he goes again. <laughs> no, wait, come back. We're in hot pursuit. Where do you think you're going, you ruffian? You think this beautiful long hallway is gonna- Where do you think you're going, you Timmy, ruffian? Well, think again. Oh, what in the heck is this? I can tell you what I do know. I'm probably supposed to go down this yep. way, but probably not up this way. Okay, <laughs> and there we go. Let's go say hi, shall we? So I get the feeling we're supposed this to- This is gonna sequence this break animal, again. Right? It's probably not just supposed to be hanging out while we get closer and closer to it. Can we just hit it from here? Apparently not. Well, at the very least, I'm just gonna hang out up here with you. And you know, instead of fighting you two, I think I'm just gonna leave you both here and proceed. <laughs> Let's go. Let's see what's down this hallway. Ah, nothing. Nothing is down this hallway. Where were you planning to run to this time? So it's happening. Is an elevator supposed to appear around here somewhere? Because we can go all the way up there, which means we're gonna leave all this behind and just go straight up to that penthouse. Now, this is a boss battle I can get behind. <laughs> Almost there. And we're here. Hello. Uh-oh, he seems aware of me this time because it keeps backing up. I will not. Okay, those noises did not sound like someone who died the way we want them to. <laughs> nope, seems very much alive. Well, I'll be taking that key that's dangling, which appears to be the master key, whatever the hell that does. Well, I guess now we need to figure out where that master key goes. I mean, it's gotta be somewhere, right? Nope, think I found it. Use one master key. Well, now I wish I'd seen this beforehand. After all, we can <laughs> hear people in there. Although I gotta admit, not really sure where the voices are coming from. Seeing as how it's a black void in there. Okay, fine, we'll do it the real way. Since you left me no choice. And then it gives you a movie clip. Here, I'll give you the bullet points. A bunch of people- And that's the game! Door. Well, that was, that was pretty good. I'm really glad that I did this video. And if you haven't yet, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye. Oh, by the way, let's game it out. If you see this, uh, I'm sorry for reacting to your video. Please forgive me.